Okay, this is what we want to see. This is what we want to see. Okay. Okay. All fighters. Behavior after stun while in freeze state. Change so that the opponent who is stunned while in freeze state will not return to normal and continue to be in the freeze state. Oh, so this is with Colleen or Gil. When they freeze the opponent, so if they're stunned while in a freeze state, they will not return to normal and will continue to be in a freeze state. Okay. So if they're stunned and you do a stun combo while they're frozen, they still stay frozen. That's fucking cheap. <laughs> if that's what that is, that's what it sounds like. Okay, behavior of inputting a throw during the five frame window of a rapid cancelable light frame attack. Yes! This is perfect! You guys don't understand. So if you guys don't know, if you have a character that has a really short recovery of a light normal, right? So for example, if I play Vega, and Vega's standing heavy, standing light punch without his claw is incredibly fast. And it's incredibly difficult to do it as a tick throw. Like going a light into throw. Because what happens is, is you just get two, pun two light punches instead of the light punch throw. So this will make it so other things will take priority over the normal. So if a throw, this is what it sounds like. If a throw is input at priority timing during the five frame recovery window of a rapid canceled light attack. So basically when you chain a light attack, when you press like light jab, 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 and it comes out like immediately, like right, rapid fire, the regular throw and the not rapid fire cancel move will be performed. Yeah, so basically this helps with tick throws. This is really good. This is really good. So basically, if you had trouble manually doing a tick throw because you had to, or else if you did it too fast, then you get two hits of a light attack. So this is great already. These two, uh, this one is crazy, but this alone means that they're noticing things that are important that are not good about the game's system. This is great. Uh, behavior after absorbing a guard break attack with a move with armor. Okay, I've never seen this interaction before, actually. Fix a phenomenon where if using a move with armor and upon taking damage from an attack following a guard break attack from the opponent, guard break scaling would be applied to the second attack. Okay, so it would be applied to the first then. So technically when it's breaking, uh, when it's guard breaking, it counts the first move. So if you guard break, that's interesting. Okay. So basically, they're removing the fact that the no guard break took place, and it's just hitting through the armor. So it's not supposed to do this. It's not supposed to cause guard break scaling. So that's good though. That's that's a buff for guard break attacks. That's good. Behavior after a certain part of an attack that draws the opponent in. Okay. This is a phenomenon where using attacks that draws characters closer, like the trigger one Zangief. Yep and a certain part of its attack hits after the hit character would be moved to an unnatural position. Okay, so changing like the vacuum effect when um, if a character would get pulled in at a weird spot and it would cause like the pull in to be not what in as intended, seems like this has been fixed. I can't think of any example for my character, but maybe you guys know for, you know, if you're a Geef player, you'll probably be thankful for this. Because you don't want to get pulled them in, and then they end up on the wrong side, and then you get punished. Things like that, maybe? Not too sure. Okay, Ryu, first character. So, Vitality, increase- What the fuck? Increase from 1,000 to 1,025. Stun, increase by 1,000 to 1,050. That's already pretty damn big. To get increased stun. Standing Light Punch. Adjust it so there'd be no changes in spacing interval in the active frames against frames hit against an opponent in close quarters. Ah, oh, so you can chain it then. It seems like you can chain it. You don't have to manually link it. Yo, Paul agreed. What's going on? Don't tell me. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. I want to read it with you. You're gonna you're gonna have to. Maybe you can help me ex uh, explain. But I can. I will get there. Don't worry. Jesus Christ, that sounds amazing. That's good though, I'm glad. I like a little shakeup. Uh, standing Heavy Punch. Relax the follow up attack restrictions during Crush Counter. Does that mean you can combo? That must mean you can combo more then. Usually when they say something like relaxed, ease the juggle count, ease the combo count, ease, relax the follow up attack restrictions, that means combo potential. 
That's what this kind of wording means in this first part here. Yeah, exactly. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Crouching Light Punch. Made the size of the collision box for active frame 3 frame the same as Crouching Light Punch. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. They're just matching the size of the active frame. Okay. Crouching Medium Punch. Reduce the collision box. Okay. On whiff, delayed the timing of the expansion of the collision box by one frame after the active frames end. Okay, so they're reducing, they're making it harder to whip punish? Or when it like... Hmm, that's interesting. Because from what I understand, collision boxes are where the move can collide, right? So that includes hit or block. I am assuming that means hurt box as well. So maybe they delayed it to match the timing, right? That's what it seems like. After the active frames end. Okay. Changes it so that the collision box will expand one frame after hit or block. So that seems like what that means. Yeah. Okay. So it seems like it'll... It'll move, like, Ryu forward more. It seems like to match this reduction. So I guess it's to keep it consistent. I think this is just a consistency thing. Uh, crouch meaning pick. Disadvantage on block decrease from minus three to minus one. And expanded the forward hitbox. Well, that's what people wanted. That's what people wanted. They got it. This is huge. This already is looking pretty good. Okay. What's Jodan again? Jodan is the forward heavy punch, right? Yeah. Disadvantage on hit for the second hit decreased from minus no 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 no. Oh, this is the target combo. Target combo. Sorry. Uh, disadvantage decrease from minus nine. minus two. Wow. Okay. It does whiff on crouchers though, so that's you can duck it and then punish that way. But if you block it standing, he's minus two only, and he has an uppercut, so that's a that's a mind game right now. Disadvantage of block for the second hit decreased from. Oh, okay, I see. So the rest of it then. Oh, this is on hit. Sorry, my bad. So he gets Oki then off of this then. So that means he gets Oki on hit because minus two you can like probably walk forward and get a button i don't think you can dash that's too that's not enough of a difference disadvantage on block decrease so it's less punishable if you space it out maybe you know and it still whips on crouchers so that's good but i mean if it whips then you're not blocking it so you don't have to worry about that okay collarbone breaker this is the overhead i believe yeah so minus six to minus seven that's a good change it should be minus seven uh, blowback knockdown means that the when you land the hit, the distance that they're knocked that they're blown back, like how far they go away from you, is shorter. If they say like, oh, reduced blowback, it means the impact of how they're hit, they don't go as far away from you. Like the pushback is not as far. Yeah, that can be a very good good buff because it can help you get meaties that you wouldn't normally get anymore. So it's good. Uh, medium punch or you can made the CA cancel timing the same as light punch. Okay, so we made it universal. That's good. So as an anti air, you can uppercut uh, super a lot even more consistently. It's good. Whew, this is gonna be good. Okay, medium kick Tatsumaki expanded the forward hitbox for the first hit. Oh, does that mean you can combo now from more cases, like from certain situations? Like from stand heavy punch and then you medium kick Tatsu and then you get immense corner carry. That sounds really good. Okay, hard kick Tatsumoki. Expanded the forward hitbox for the first hit. So again, and you can side switch. This one will go behind the opponent. This one will keep them in front. But both have immense corner carry. Uh, fix the phenomenon where he floated above the ground after the move recovery ended. Oh, okay, so then it, it stops you from... When you try to punish it, they don't get air reset. You get a full grounded punish. So that's good. That's very good. Uh, EX Donkey Kick, that's what Jodan Sokuto Giri is. <laughs> Increase the forward movement distance, that's good. So he's probably gonna have consistent punishes now when he spins bar. Change so that the move recovery can be cancelled into Tatsumaki on hit. I saw that in the trailer. People were telling me yesterday that he could do that before, but no, I saw the cancel. 
Change the properties when performed as a cancel from a standing heavy punch when Dijin Reki and... Okay, so when V-Trigger is ready, it can be for performed as a cancel from standing heavy punch. That's fucking good. That's fucking good. So he's gonna get immense damage then. Wow. Okay, Mind's Eye, V-Skill 1. Expanded the forward parry range. Damn, that's good. That's very good. That's very good. I wish maybe they made the parry a little bit better as well. But this is amazing for Ryu already. This is amazing. This gives him like the tools to compete. It seems like. That's crazy good. Uh, okay, V-Trigger 1. V-Timer decreased from 1,000 to 800? Okay, decent drop. V Hadoken and V Shuriken no longer use V Trigger Timer. Holy shit! Holy shit! I thought that was a joke. People were. This is real. Holy shit! So that that means when you throw a fireball in V Trigger, like those electrified Denjin Hadokens, none of them drain V Meter. And if you uppercut someone, like when you does like V trigger activation from EX Fireball and does dash forward uppercut, that uppercut won't use any bar. So you literally can keep your damage and be in a buff state that, and be like Ken in, in, uh, in V trigger one. That's perfect because Ken doesn't lose any meter for doing uppercuts or fireballs or Tatsus, right? So why would Ryu? That's great. That's amazing. Okay, Shinku Adoken. Change the amount of EX meter gain the opponent gets on block from 0 to 6 times 5 plus 20. Wow. So you gain meter for... Wow. So when they block the move, you get meter now. Because you used to get nothing. That's perfect. Expanded the upwards hitbox when performed as a cancel from sure you can. Okay, so this helps it in consistencies. When you anti air, it's going to help. That's great. That's amazing. Okay, Denjin Hadoken, V Trigger 1, CA. Ease the combo count when performed as a cancel from Shoryuken so you get juggles. Change the amount of EX meter gain. So the same thing as uh, without a V Trigger. And expanded the upwards. What can I say? Ryu fans should be nothing but happy. Because this is amazing. Yeah, big deal. Nerf on one frame, right? Big deal. Who cares? It's just a universal overhead thing, right? Everything else is a buff. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Good job for you. Good job, Capcom. I respect these changes so far. Okay, let's move to Chun. Vitality increased from 950 to 975. Stun 950 to the thousand? A thousand. Okay. Okay, forward dash. Change to be in close contact with the opponent after the move ends. No, no change to movement distance. Ah, oh, okay. So you are point blank when you dash up. That's good. That's a good change. I didn't know that it wasn't before. That's interesting. Uh, forward throw. Added two frames of recovery on hit. Thank you. She should not be zero after you dash forward in the corner. Decrease the separation distance after throw. Oh no. Does that mean she has a throw loop now in the corner? Hmm. Can someone confirm this? Any Chun players or if you know what, what this means? Because this means there's more recovery, but this means there's less distance between them, so she might not have to dash forward. Maybe now she just gets like a button, like walk forward button, but not a walk forward throw. Because it seems like she can't, definitely can't dash, because she was zero before, so adding two frames means you you can't dash up and be zero, you dash forward and be minus two. So maybe she can still, like, if people aren't ready for the dash up, you can do it to catch people. But I don't know, this is just, this is on paper. I'd have to see it. The health stun increases must be to try to dial back the absurd amount of damage people can do. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 exactly, a fake throw loop. That's what it seems like. Um, standing medium punch, reduce the pushback on block. That's very good. That's a very good button that Chun has. Uh, standing heavy punch, disadvantage on block reduced from minus 5 to minus 4. Fuck my life. I mean, one frame is not that big of a deal, but it was only minus 5. And minus 4 is like... Unless they, she does it point blank and you have a long range uh, 4 frame, that's going to be hard to punish. Because Vega could punish it with stand and light punch and claw. But now he can't do that, so that's going to be a bitch. Increase the pushback distance on block. Even, even better for Chun. 
expanded the backwards hurtbox during recovery. Okay, so basically if you try to jump at her and you landed a cross up, she wouldn't avoid your attack. This Vega had the same change for his Buster Claw in uh, Season 4. Okay, stand medium kick. Reduce the hurtbox that appears before the hitbox active frames. Oh, that's good. So then she can use this as a counter poke a lot more. Because there's no fear of getting uh, poked out before the active frames. Just on recovery. That's smart. Very good. Crouching light punch. Reduce the collision box for the 4th and 5th frames. Increase the pushback distance on hit. Increase the pushback distance on block. Ah, so no tick throw. No walk up jab. Watch out. Walk up crouch jab throw. Maybe she has less uh, combo potential from crouch jab. Uh, crouch light kick. Reduce... Collision box for the fourth frame. Okay, increase pushback on hit, boost pushback on block. Okay, so crouching to her three frame normal got nerfed, and her crouching light punch got nerfed. So both crouching normals that are fast got nerfed. That kind of means to me that they're gonna push her to be a footsie monster and not pressure up close. That's what that indicates to me. Because they don't want her to get pressure from lights, like stagger walk, stagger walk forward light, uh, and catching people low, which is good, because that that further pushes her away from like what Karen used to be or Cammy, which I think is good. I think they should make her you know her own character. Uh, crush medium kick. Advantage on hit increased from zero to plus two. Ooh, that's good. Makes it easier to can delay cancel and delays most likely. Expanded the forward hitbox. Good. Even better low poke. I already thought it was lacking a little bit, so that's good. Yeah, that's that's great. Crouch medium kick. Uh, jumping medium punch. Ease the combo count. Oh man, so that means you can jump into anything except you can because you can already do air air legs after jump medium punch. So now you can probably do more than that. You can probably probably do jump medium punch, land, and do bird kick. Or something like that. Maybe you can do jump medium punch and then V skill, if that's not already a thing. Okay, V trigger one. Oh no no, this is her overhead. Emphasize wait, this is her overhead? No. Hagarasu is her lightning legs. What is this move? Yoso Kaku. Emphasize the priority input when performing a special move cancel. Okay, so this takes priority when performing a special move cancel. That's what it seems like. Okay. This looks like... I think this is her... This is a unique attack. I know that much. Because this is her... Yeah. Hmm. Someone can confirm later. Um, okay. Lightning legs. Change the V trigger and CA cancel timing. Oh, this is the command hop, I think. Isn't it? Okay, let's see. No, no, no. This is the lightning legs. Yeah, never mind. I was right. Okay, increase the pushback distance on hit when performed as a cancel from standing medium punch. Huh. Okay, so then it pushes them away afterwards. That's good. That's good. Because I don't know if she's plus or not after hitting this. Uh, heavy kick. Change the final hit to cause blowback knockdown. That's good. That's very good. I like that a lot, actually. Um, reduce the blowback airtime if 1 to 5 hits an airborne opponent normal only okay so then basically this makes it so if you hit them in the air then you get hits so this is with air legs right so they don't get um they don't get thrown out until the last hit that's good reduce the blowback airtime and distance if the final attack hits an airborne opponent that's good so if you hit them with the last hit only you get to keep it them closer on the blowback that's good that's a very good buff Oh, sorry, this is not from air legs, this is just grounded. So when you anti with, so you jump, like, let's say for example, this looks like you do jump medium punch, the air to air, and then you, when you land, you can do heavy kick lightning legs. And you keep it consistent. That's good. Okay, airborne. Use the height restriction. Oh, shit. You can do tiger knee. When performed as a cancel from jumping medium, okay, so you can jump medium punch and then instant air legs, it seems like. Increase the blowback time for the second attack when performed as a cancel. Okay, so you get... So you don't get a Oki setup, but you get good knockback. So that's good. Bird Kick. Will not be performed if Light Punch is input at the same time as the command is completed. Okay, so no overlap. That's good. That's good. That keeps it consistent, so if you make a mistake, you don't get ruined. That's 
good. Uh, Kikoken will not be thrown if Light Kick is input at the same time as the move is completed. That's perfect! I like these changes. These are really smart changes. Keep things more consistent, they don't mess up your execution. That's perfect. Uh, V-Skill. Increase the active frames from 4 to 6 frames. That's good. Gave the active frames... Gave active frames 5 frame and 6 frame the same hurtbox as 4. Oh! Okay, so it makes the hurtbox the same, but I don't know if that means it makes it bigger or smaller. I'm not I'm not a ton player, I can't say, but that's good. And having more active frames is always good, so. Okay, CA, change the amount of EX meter gain on block. That's good! This is very good. I like that. Nash! Well, where's Toga when you need him? Mm. Okay, Vitality, increase from 950 to 975. Stun increased from 950 to 1000. Holy crap, so it's the same as Chun. That's very good. Damn. Okay. Forward dash. Change to be in close contact with the opponent after the move ends. That's good, so it's the same thing as Chun. So maybe there's more characters like this that aren't point blank after a forward dash up close. Which seemed like it should have been the case before, but I'm glad they're changing it now. They'll keep things consistent. Which is, that's the thing. When you see changes like this, it's always good because consistency is appreciated by the person playing the character. Every time, consistency is better. Right? Uh, Staying Light Punch. Reduce the pushback on hit for the Rapid Cancel version. Ah, so you can pressure with this then. You can stagger or press 2 really fast. That's very good. Okay, standing medium punch. Change, change so that the opponent blocking the active frames will give an advantage. Will get an advantage in recovery. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, increase the hit and block stop. Okay, so it makes it easier to cancel or confirm or punish. That's good. Uh, increase the cancel window timing by three frames. Damn. So this is a true like buffering move now. You don't have to just automatically buffer. You can hit confirm with this move. That's great. That's very good. Stand medium kick. Change so that the opponent blocking the active frames will give an advantage in recovery. Same change as that. I'm not sure exactly what this means, except that it makes it easier to punish on block. Okay, increase the blowback time for an opponent on a mid-air hit. Ooh. Now when they say blowback time, I think that means... Because they don't say distance, they say time. So the amount of time it takes for them to be blown back, I think? That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, change so that a V-Trigger cancel can be performed on the fourth active frame. Ooh! So you get new setups, maybe. Or get a cross-up. You like anti air with this or something, and you can cancel for a mix-up. That's cool. That's cool. Standing Heavy Punch. Change so that the opponent blocking the active frames will give an advantage in recovery. Okay, so keeping the block stun consistent. That's good. It's not great for Nash, but at least it'll keep you honest. That's good. Stand heavy kick. Reduce the recovery on hit from 15 to 14 frames. Damn. Okay. Uh, no. also change the advantage. Changes to the advantage and disadvantage on hit and block. Okay. So it's not forward heavy kick, it's the neutral roundhouse. So there's that roundhouse kick. That you did, like, the entire one, right? Okay. Increase the blowback time for an opponent on mid-air hit. Okay, sounds like the same idea. Except you can't V-Trigger cancel this. So maybe this means that you can... You can get Oki after this. So like, let's say you get... You do it, like the target combo to entire, like light kick, medium kick, and you do V-Skill, like V-Skill 1. Maybe you can get Oki afterwards. Maybe. Because then you hit at a different part of the height of the the fall, like when they're falling and you hit the, the B skill after this target combo, if you make the blowback time take longer, then that means you hit them earlier, or they fall later, and then that means you get better Oki, so that's good, that's good, even Beanie thinks so, don't even Beanie. <laughs> um, chopping Assault, or actually Rapid Punch, this is the Light Punch, Medium Punch, target combo. Increase the hit and block stuff, so making this easier to punish, basically. Uh, increase the hit and block stop, chopping assault. This is the. This might be the one where he like ends in like a jump heavy punch target combo looking move. I think this is what this is. 
Can you advantage from minus six to minus seven? Okay, that's fine. One frame is no big deal for a move like this. Wind shear, make the behavior of the second hit on counter hit the same as for regular hit. What's wind shear? Is wind shear the spinning back knuckle? Maybe Razira can tell me. Downburst, increase the hit and block stop. Disadvantage on block increase from minus six to minus seven. What's downburst? Hmm, I don't know. Sonic boom, damage increase from 50 to 60. That's huge. That's huge. 10 damage, this doesn't look like a lot, but any time a projectile character gets increased damage to his projectiles, and if, especially for a character that throws a lot of them, this adds up. This adds up. That's very good. Okay, tragedy assault. Hmm. Address the phenomenon where... Okay, okay, so it's just more punishable. So basically making his target combos more punishable. Thank you. Okay. I'll make the camera go more to my face. Because I know I'm leaning, I'm leaning this way a little bit, so... <laughs> Medium punch strategy saw address the phenomenon where natural trade places with an opponent who is in the corner. That's unfortunate. Easy ability to follow up for attacks. Ooh, combo tool. That's what that is. Uh, easy ability to follow up for medium. Oh, for this is for scythe. Oh shit. That's very cool. Heavy kick scythe. Uh, startup reduced from 17 to 13. So if you already had trouble entering with it as a hard call, you can probably enter with this now as a as a read like when you see them immediately start to jump you can do this given invincibility to airborne attacks from attack startup to the end of the active frame so and actually literally got a special move entire like heavy punch ASC for vega except this is much better he doesn't now he doesn't need to spend bar he can spend bar on damage now that's great EX on site. Given invincibility to airborne attacks from two frames of the attack start to the end of the active frame. So if you get the call, then this leads. This is a better anti-air, but it's harder to do. But this is a safer anti-air because it's faster. But expanded the height of the collision box when the first and second hits hit. That's good because there are times where he would use EX site and you would get part of the anti-air with the first wave of the kick and then the second hit would whip. So this might not work like this anymore, and it might actually hit both. So it's good. Uh, Nash's V-Skill 2, from what I understand, buffs his Scythe. So his Scythe get extra hits, and their the Light Kick one is plus, and all this sort of stuff. Yo, Minuet, what's going on? How you doing? You're just on Nash right now. We haven't got to Vega yet, don't tease me. Uh, Moonsault Slash, expanded the downward collision box when descending. That's good. Some more consistency, harder to go under, it looks like. Uh, EX moves off. Fixed phenomenon where the recovery would change depending on where the move began. Interesting. Yo, Russ, what's going on? How you doing? I just going through the changes. This is my live reaction. I haven't seen anything. We're just on Nash right now. Um, in accordance with the move above, the opponent will have an extra frame of recovery added, but there are no changes to the advantage. Just advantage. Okay. Okay, so this makes it more consistent then. I think that's what they're trying to do with this move. Okay, bullet clear. Please go. Increase the advantage, active frames from 2 to 4. That's great. Recovery increased. Well, I'm going to be excited when I get to Urian and Bison. <laughs> Recovery increased from 23 to 21. That's good. Makes it a little more easier to punish. Change so that hitting the active frames on hit or block will give an advantage in recovery. Okay. That's, that's basically to make it more punishable or better, easier to hit confirm if you hit it. That's good. Um, Sonic move. Reduce the combo scaling from 20% to 10% when performed as a cancel. That's great! Holy shit, that's really good. Sonic move hide. Added two frames of throw invincibility after the complete invincibility ends. Wow! So you can actually use it to avoid throws. That's so good. Toga's gonna be so happy. Just a shell. V trigger 2. Ease the ability to follow up attacks for the second attack. Ooh. So maybe those moves that we saw earlier, like these ones here, so Scythe and Tragedy Assault makes it easier. That's good. Uh, change the amount of EX meter gain zero on block from 0 to 50. Holy shit. That's a lot of meter. For two frames, expanded the forward hitbox to be the same size as the hurt box. Okay. So, to, so you don't get hit in the face when you try to hit at a certain point. Okay. Expanded the upwards hitbox for the cancelled version. Oh, okay. So this makes it easier to hit 
uh, after you do Heavy Kick Sonic Scythe and you do CA to juggle, uh, this will be more consistent now so you won't see people drop it as much. That's good. That's good. And Honda. Okay, I can't wait to get to Honda then. Okay, Bison. Knockdown. Unify the collision box during Crumple to be the same height as other characters. Okay. Honda's a truck. Okay. I'm curious. I'm curious. Heavy Punch. Reduce the hitbox. Expanded the hurt box. Yes. We like this kind of stuff. Whiff punishing heavy buttons should be easier. If you see it, if you're looking for it, you should be rewarded when you hit the button. You shouldn't need pixel perfect spacing to whip punish heavy button. This is stupid, so I hope that's the case here. Psycho X, reduce the hip size of the box that triggers the opponent's block. That's good, so this reduces proximity of guard. So you're not forced to block when you're trying to whip punish it. That's good. That's very good. The new V skill is really good? Yeah, it seems like it. I saw a few clips. Expanded the hurt box. Yes! Increase the recovery on whip by five frames. Yes! Oh. Heavy Punch, Medium Heavy Punch Cycle Blast. Change the voice. Thank you! Because all you have to look at is the the hand gesture, like of the timing of the animation. So now if the voice is completely different between the two versions, then you can tell which is coming, so then you don't have to guess or react, and you can just, you know, use a projectile and vulnerable move to get through the gap. So that's very good. Double knee press. Reduce the pushback on hit for the first attack. Okay, makes things a little more consistent, maybe easier to punish as well, or to check. Okay, EX Cycle Blast fixed a bug where the combo count changed on counter hit. Interesting. I didn't know that. Cycle Burst. Reduce pushback on block, increase the recovery on block from, and width from 20 to 23. That's very good. That's cool. So it makes it better defensively, but easier for you, the opponent to punish. That's good. Excuse me. Psycho Crusher, V-Trigger 2. Changed the motion before startup attack and adjusted the hurtbox accordingly. Okay, so maybe it doesn't pull him back anymore. So people before used to use Psycho Crusher to set up with punishes or to like, you know, as an anti-air or like, because it would pull the hurtbox back like Ibuki's V-Skill would, because she would like reach back and then go forward. So Bison would go like, and then like Psycho Crusher forward. So maybe it's not the case anymore, which is good. Uh, ultimate Cycle Crusher. Actually, perfect Cycle Crusher, that's good, what he says. Uh, change the amount of EX meter gain, I'd say. This seems like a universal change, so we'll skip over this unless we see something different. Added 10 frames of landing recovery in the mid-air version whips. That's good, that's very good. Whew. I'm excited for you guys, I'm excited. Cammy. Oh, shit. Increased her vitality from 900 mental. Okay, 25 is not crazy. 25 is not crazy, okay. Unified the collision box during Crumple. Okay, so she was one of those characters. Next power, air throw. Reduced the recovery on hit by 13 frames. Oh. So that means you get Oki after air throw? Someone confirm this? Crouching like it. Change the hurt box for the rapid cancel version. Yep, seen that before. Change the midair hit properties to blowback knockdown. Ooh. Okay. So you get Oki if you hit with it? And you can you can juggle with this, seems like. Reduce the downward hitbox for the first attack. Okay. Change so that it cannot be hit by opponents who are behind Cammy. Okay, good. So you can't anti with it. Oh, this is the back heavy back medium punch into uh No no no, knee bullet is forward heavy kick. What am I talking about? She can get spiral knee. If she A's with me. Okay, so this is an anti a rewarding anti that goes into juggle. That's cool. That's very cool. I like that. Lift combination. This is back medium punch into heavy kick, hard combo, the, the uppercut, and then the like roundhouse kick. Limited the combo count. It can now be cancelled into V trigger. Okay, I'd have to see that in action. Spyro, ease the ability to fallout for attacks, ease the ability to fallout for attacks, ease the ability to fallout for attacks, ease the ability to fallout for attacks when perform lift combination into EX Hooligan. So she's getting a lot of juggles from this stuff. All these can juggle. That's very cool. Except this one. This one seems worse now, but can be cancelled into V-Trigger. So you need to have resources in order to get the reward versus how it was before. Which is good overall. I like that. Oh yeah, right. 
I'll do, I'll do it when we get to the next character. How about that? Or I'll get I'll do it when we get to Zeku, if you want. I apparently I do a decent Master Splinter, so because I promised I would read the patch notes with uh, that voice. <laughs> Hi, Vini. Yeah, because yeah, I think that makes sense. Old man, right? Yeah, Vini. Yeah, you like the patch notes? Uh, reverse edge, V trigger two, reduce the attack active frames from five to four frames. Reduce the startup from 15 to 14 for the second attack, or increase the active frame from 2 frames to 3 frames for the second attack. Advantage on hit decrease from plus 5 to plus 3. Adva disadvantage on block decrease from minus 7 to minus 2. <laughs> minus 2. Reduce the pushback on hit. Yeah, that's good. Increase the blowback time for the midair hit. That's good, too. Ease the combo count for the first attack. I think people should really investigate V Trigger 2 now. This seems really good. This seems very interesting. It seems like a pressure kind of mix up V Trigger now. Because yes, you get less reward on hit, but you can still combo, you can still bully the opponent as well, which is very good. And possibly you get juggles now if you hit them at, uh, when they try to jump away. Okay, CA. Uh, more meter on block. Good. Birdie! Increase 1050. Unify the knockdown, okay. Stand medium punch, delay the timing at which the downward hurtbox begins moving down during recovery. Ah, okay, so they delayed it so the hurtbox comes out after the move hits, not, or after the move whips, not during. Which makes it easier to whip punish. Again, this is great. Yeah, maybe, that might be why, Paul agreed. Added four frames of recovery on whip, yes. Expand the hurtbox during recovery, yes! Yes, 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 yes! These are great! Great changes! Great changes! Standing heaven punch. Expanded the hurt box during recovery. Yes! Crouch medium punch. Change so that you cannot hit opponents who are behind. Are you kidding me? Yes! You know how many times you jump over Birdie's dumbass and he still anti-airs you and then you get command grab and you get stunned? Oh man, that's so nice. Crouching Heavy Punch. Stun decreased from 150 to 120. That makes sense. It did a lot of stun. Uh, bull Drop. Disadvantage. Because you couldn't combo into it anyway outside of an anti or something. Um, bull Drop. Disadvantage on block decrease. Increase from minus 6 to minus 7. Uh, Bullhorn. Change the projectile invincibility timing from 3 to 6 frames. Wow. Damn, so you have more invincibility against projectiles uh, when you bullhorn. This is the one you hold down to let go. Change the timing which the backward hurtbox begins moving down from 3 to 4. So you can punish it or poke it easier. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I, I know about the target combo, but like it did a lot of... Because it usually led to low scaling uh, damage. So I guess they don't want it to have as much stun, which makes sense. Because it's very rewarding and not too hard to do. Uh... <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, Bullhorn, V Trigger 1. Oh, so this is while in V Trigger. So change the timing at which the backwards work box. Yeah. Reduce the opponent's block recovery by 6 frames. Okay, so it's easier to punish now. Increase the disadvantage on block from minus 12 to minus 18. Shorten the airborne interval from minus 18 to minus 42. Huh. Much more punishable. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, that's why. Medium chain, reduce the recovery on hit, 10 frames for close range, 7 for long, so he gets Oki off chain now. There is a difference in the situation on hit, depending on whether it hits close or long range, so it has to be unified. Okay. Yeah, so they're just trying to keep it things universal and consistent, which is nice. Uh, hanging chain, reduce the recovery on hit by 5 frames. So he gets better Oki situation off of this. That's good. Maybe you can set up a can or something. Or set up a chewing time. Okay, bullhead. Stun decrease from 200 to 150. Good. He did too much stun on some stuff. Light medium punch bullhead. Relay the timing with the collision box and move forward. Okay, so maybe this maybe this hurts uh, certain confirms. When you like do full screen like medium punch and it still combos in the light bullhead. That could be why. Uh, EX Bullhead. Sun decreased from 250 to 200. Medium, heavy, 220 to 200, 240 to 200. Wow. 
His stun got nerfed. That's good. He did too much stun. Too much stun. EX Killing Head? Yes, you're exclaiming what this is. Then, unless this got changed too, but they just repeated the line. What? Okay. Pepper Pot, V Reversal. Increase recovery. Skip to my chain. Meteor on block. Cool. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Birdie got mild nerfs to stun, but he still works the same way. Uh, just because stuff is like... Because that's the thing. Most of his changes, stuff is already punishable. Now it's just more punishable. And he just has to... He just can't spam heavy punch and medium punch for free. If the, if the opponent is good, he can't do it for free. Which is great. Everything else is a buff. Like, bolt, like hanging chain? This is pretty great. This is pretty great. It's really good. Because you know how close you are after you are after getting slammed by Birdie? Yeah, he just has to play more... Like, he has to play the rest of the game. He just can't willy-nilly throw out heavy punch and medium punch and anti-air behind his head when he misses an anti-air. He's got an air-to-air -air now, right? Which other characters should. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You guys get it. You guys get it. You guys are smart people. I don't need to educate you on anything because you guys know. Alright, Ken. Damn, Vitality, Stun, okay, saying I'm going to reduce the throw hurt box from one frame. Okay, so it's more difficult to throw, okay. Uh, crouching Rapid Cancel, version included, throw box will not be expanded, okay, so difficult to throw. Reduce the pushback on hit, okay, so it makes it easier to go into a target combo, the Chin Buster one. Crouching Medium Kick, advantage on hit, increase from 0 to plus 2, that's good, so Fireball is better. Seems like it. Um, or it's a good, a decent poke. And also easier to hit confirmed into super. That's good. This is very good. Um, I mean, I could already do it. <laughs> Crouch heavy punch. Throw forward hurt box will not be expanded. Okay. So maybe people were throwing Ken out of certain normals because it would increase his, uh, his range. Interesting. Chin buster. Expanded the forward hitbox. That's good. Also, that makes EX Tatsu in the air into this target combo to get a juggle is going to be easier. That's good. Uh, Izuma Kick. That's the overhead. So minus 7. No big deal. Thunder Kick. Minus 7. That's that's big. That means Vega can get a big punish now in other characters with 7 frame normals. That's very good. I mean, the, ri the reward on this is so huge. It should be the more punishable one. I don't mind if this was minus 6, but I think this should definitely be more punishable, right? Because he gets, like, a combo into a mix-up into stun a lot of the time when he's in V-Trigger, right? So it's universal then. That's that's good then. Uh, so it's not really a nerf to him then. That's just a nerf to the game. Uh, medium Punch Sword again. Invincibility period to air attacks change from 1 frame to 1 to 7. Okay, so you can do a little later on the DP and still uh, have invincibility. That's good. Reduce the pushback on the hit for the first hit. Okay, so you can combo easier and a little more consistently. Change the expand... Change to expand the hitbox on the final attack of the hit. Oh, okay, so when you can do like a late end, uh, if you try to jump away, it seems like you can hit them with a heavy punch or you can. Which is cool. Expand the upwards closing box when performing the cancel from a Shinryuken. Okay, so easier to hit afterwards. That's what this means. When expanding the collision box upward, you're just making it easier to combo, and you don't have to be so perfect with your timing on the uh, V-Trigger Shoryuken, or the EX Shoryuken after v Shinryuken, which is good. Uh, Tatsumaki. Expanded the hitbox of the first attack, except when performed from Standing Heavy Punch. Ah! So, he if he calls out a move, if he calls out a projectile maybe, he can go over it with Tatsu, that's interesting. This, these are very good changes overall so far. These are very good. There's nothing I'm seeing so far that's like, why would they do that? This is good. This is very good for the game. Uh, oh, Veer Versal. Change to be in a grounded state until the conclusion. Okay, that's good. Shinryuken, change so that Ken can cancel the landing recovery into V skill on hit. Ooh. All levels. All levels. So you can combo for free. So maybe if you want to use V, v skill or V trigger two, you can use V skill two to uh, get a launch. Hi, Nini. What? I cleaned your shit already. <laughs> uh, Shinryuken level one. 
Reduce the damage from 140 to 110. Stun increased or decreased from 200 to 150. Reduce the blowback. That's good. What, Beanie? What? You're so crazy. <laughs> reduce the damage. Okay, so this means because you, you get more combo potential, they reduced it a little bit. So I think that's good. Because you get better Oki off of that, of these combo extensions, than you would off the actual Shuriuken, so... Okay, Beanie, I'll pick you up, okay? You guys want to see it? Come here. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean the bank's out of money? Yeah, these changes just seem like they're reducing... They're giving you better Oki and making it easier to combo off of this stuff. Ooh, change the projectile... Oh, so even the level 1. That's good. That's very good. Extended the landing recovery, so it's a little more punishable if you whiff. Okay, cool. Ken looks... Ken seems fine. Ken seems fine. A little more punishable, but a little more utility on V-Trigger 2. No big deal. Health buff is nice. Uh, Nikali. Increase in health, increase in stun. God damn. Crouching light punch, just as so no spacing interval. Okay, so this is the same thing we've seen before. Delay the timing of which the collision box. Okay. Crush counter hit change to a crumple knockdown. Oh shit. So stand heavy punch, he can get a dash up combo. Yo, Ronan, how's it going? Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're gonna watch the daddy, okay? Hey, relax, relax. Leave the changes with me, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, you don't want to, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Press counter change to crumple, that's pretty damn good. Opening dagger, increase the disadvantage on block from minus 6 to minus 7. Change the airborne status from 12 to minus 19. Or 12 to 19 frames to grounded throw invincible. Opening Dagger is his target combo, right? That must be it. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, this is Nikali. Oh, this is Overhead, right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because this is the Overhead chain. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, so you can use it as a throw bait. That's very good for Nikali, actually. That's very good. Damn, that's very good. Okay, this guidance reduce pushback on second hit. It's good, keeps it consistent. Valiant Rebellion, this is his stomp. Change the timing backwards, hurt box begins moving from two to five. Okay. Change the advantage on block from minus two to plus two? Oh shit. Is this for regular? Reduce the recovery from 24 to 20. Reduce the pushback for the first. So if I block a stomp, Oh, this is only for EX. Oh, so that's here. Okay, 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 okay. So you have to spend bar, but then you get a mix-up then. Yo, Snack, what's going on? I don't know, man. I haven't got there yet. I'm still on... I'm on Nikali right now. Oh, Vega's next, guys. Vega's next. Get ready for the clips. Whew. Oh, so just as heavy... Well, it's nice that they wrote that down. Okay, that's good, though. So he gets probably a command grab, or a pseudo command grab. Because it's not true, it, it won't truly catch, but if you can condition someone to block afterwards, that's good. So that's nice, that's really good for Nikali. I already thought he was slept on with like Machibo and whatnot, but that's good. Um, Raging Light, this is his DP, expanded the hitbox, normal version extended the active range for the first three, that's very good. Massive Tali, this is command grab. Upwards collision box on hits of the wall bounce. Ceremonial Honor, this is his uh, super. Yeah, Nikali seems even better. He didn't need anything, but this is even better. And that V-Skill 2 looks very good. Oh, can you imagine then using V-Skill 2, like the creeping puddle, and then using his Valiant Rebellion? Damn. Yeah, that's very good. That's very good. I think, yeah, Nikali might be top 5 from something like this. If everyone else around him is coming down, and the lower tiers are coming up, I think he's gonna go higher. I don't know, just saying. Yeah. I don't think he was ever bad. He's just not entertaining for some people to play. Okay. Okay, this is it, boys. This is it, boys. 
I haven't read anything. I just saw a few combo things. I know he has Sky High Claw. I know what his new V skill 2 does. Okay. Okay. Time to do it. I've, I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting since Sunday to read this. Vega. Increase health on 1000 to 1025. Okay. Stun. Increase 950 to 975. Good. I wanted a thousand, but I can't. I can't be beggars. Can't be choosers. Knockdown, unified, collision. Okay, so he was one of them. Crouching state, expand the upwards hurt box. Oh, that's not good. But that's that seems universal. Standing light punch claw, increase the advantage on hit from minus plus five to plus. Seven. What? Are you kidding me? So that means. So that means I can hit with stand light punch and combo into crouch medium punch with claw is that what it means really? that's crazy that's really crazy and wait, wait 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 does that mean i can combo into other things if it's plus seven i have to really experiment Dude, what is it? this is so crazy right now standing medium punch claw expanded the forward hitbox Tell me it matches the animation. Tell me it matches on. Oh my god, that's crazy good. Yo, Kobe, what's going on? You were just in time to see me react to Vega. I haven't read anything yet. You can do EX roll and stand me and medium punch roll or medium kick roll after stand light punch. Oh, that sounds so good. Crouch heavy kick. Ease the ability to follow up attack. You can already get juggles off of this. You can get even more? Oh my god. Buster Claw expanded the forward hitbox. Are you serious? If he can DT cancel out of roll now. What? Okay, hey, don't spoil it. <laughs> don't spoil it. I saw a clip. I don't know what that was. I was like, Mercury Shard. Disadvantage on block increase from minus 6 to minus 7. Okay. Given throw invincibility from mine from 13 to 19 frames. Yes! He can't be thrown! Because he's hopping off the ground! Why could you throw him? Thank you, Capcom! Holy Sky High Claw, new, added new special move. Okay, charge move. One one concern I have that Dr. African brought up was Yeah, that's the overhead nerd press. Sky High Claw, because it's a charge, and you're down backing against people that jump at you, if you try to jump back jab or jump up air throw, you might get Sky High Claw and then get punished. What beanie? What beanie? Come here. Come here. Come here. What? My cat's being weird. <laughs> He's yappy today. I don't know. I fed him already. Anyway. Okay. Reduce recovery by one frame when performed as a cancel from Crouch Heavy Punch Barehanded. Wait, what? So, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does that mean... Does that mean you can combo into something else that's one frame faster? That's what that means, right? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Medium heavy punch, medium punch spinach, heavy kick crimson terror restricted the combo count. Restricted the combo count? What? Meaning what? What the fuck do you want? Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't know what he wants. What a baby. Yeah, 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 that definitely does. So may they don't want you juggling with this move. They don't want you juggling with this move. With whatever they did to Vega. Uh, EX Barcelona. Increase the blowback time when it hits an airborne opponent. So... You can get Oki off of this now? You can get better... Oh, shit. That means I can get really good Oki if I like kick world over them, no? That's very good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. You can see him, can't you? <laughs> Expanded the hitbox 
Okay, you want know hold on, guys. Hold on one sec. I gotta teach. I gotta teach my son respect. Drama queen, my god. It doesn't drop my FBA combos. That maybe, but also but when they say this, that also probably probably means that you could get better Oki when they land. Expanded the hitbox when used in combo so that change vega can hit opponents who are behind him. Oh shit. Okay, okay, so when used in combo. So it would be nice if it was not in combo only, because then you can make cross-up FBA setups, which would be sick. It would be sick. Okay, EX Flying Barcelona, attack. Expand the upward hitbox for the final hit. Expand upward hitbox for the first. And using the combo, reduce the upwards blowback for the opponent on the first hit. So it makes it more consistent. That's very good. Because there's so many times when you just drop it, or when you drop it from like, when you're jumping from the corner to the other side and you just whiff. You guys have seen me complain about that so many times. Okay, Blade Kiss. Can be cancer from Aurora Spinach and Crimson Terror. Yep. Yep. That's amazing. That's fucking amazing. So when you have the kill, you don't have to go into a normal into V-Trigger. You can just go straight into your normal combo and then go into rows. Jesus Christ. On hit and block, sped up the timing at which Vega can move by three frames. Oh shit. Does that mean it's... What? It's plus two on block? It's plus two on block now? Oh shit. So you literally can throw the rows after sweep and they're in the corner and then you're plus two, and they're cornered, and you're right next to them? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Expanded the downward collision box of the movement after the projectile hits. That's great. That's so crazy. Excrease the blowback time on hit. Restricted the combo. So does that mean... So does that mean that when you hit this, you can get a better follow-up or an easier time following up, and then if they get if they block it, you're plus two. That's fucking crazy. Oh my god. I'm loving this so far. Flash arc. Expanded the Expanded the forward hitbox! Yes! Yes! Oh, Reduce the startup from 18 to 17 frames. Does that mean you can hit this from lights now? Does this mean you can cancel into lights from lights now? I'm so fucking curious. Oh my god. Okay, change the amount of EXP meter gain. Change so that the descent attack will not whiff when performed facing an opponent in the corner! You can chip out now! <laughs> You can ship out now! So no longer the opponent hides in the corner and then you just jump off the wall and you land in front of them and then you get punished and then you die because you tried to chip them out. No longer you have to go like backwards in the opposite wall and then like track your way to the other side. That's so good! That's so good! Oh my god, so good. Alright. Armika. Ooh, I need some water after that. That was intense. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Mika, knockdown. Unified. Okay, we're gonna go through a bit faster now that we've gone through Vega. <laughs> uh, if there's anything you want me to elaborate on, let me know. Stand like it. Change so the hurtbox will not move backwards. Standing medium punch. Change so the opponent blocking the actor frames will give an advantage in recovery. Okay. Uh, crouching medium punch. Reduce the backwards hitbox. Thank you! Woo! So you can't enter with it hitting cross-up anymore. I have not looked at Laura's yet, no. 
Expanded the upwards and backwards hurt box for frames minus for 8 to 21. Ooh, that's good. So that means you can, yeah, this nerfs it like a, a cross up anti -air. That's great. Stomp Chop. Is this a target combo? Change to that heavy punch you think will combo. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Because it is minus, it's punishable on block. So you, I think the reward is nice. Added a forward input version. Oh, does that mean you can throw the mic? You just throw the mic immediately? That's good. That's good. Yeah, Bruce. That's too bad. <laughs> it's too bad. Nadeshko. Uh, change so that if Nadeshko's attack and Mika's throw hit the opponent at the same time, Nadeshko's attack will take priority. Oh! That's good. That's very good. I mean, this is a buff. This is definitely a buff. This is a nerf. This is a nerf. So you don't get the reward of command throw. You have to get the hit. Um, this At least it sounds like it. Unless someone tells me I'm wrong. Okay, Rashid. What did he get nerfed with? Okay. Stem mean punch. Expanded the forward hurt box that appears before the attack. After frames begins. Okay. Easier to counter poke. I just got through the Vega changes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And I haven't even played the game yet. Oh. So excited. Standing out much. Expand the backward hurt box during recovery. Yes! You know how much I hate this move? <sighs> Crouching light punch. Made the hurt box for rapid cancel. Same as normal version. Okay. Reduce backwards hitbox. Increase startup of the rapid cancel. Yes, that's good. Increase the pushback distance on block. Thank you. He could do too many. Crouch medium punch. Reduce the startup. Reduce the startup. Six frames, so six frame entire that can combo or can, can cancel into whirlwind shot. Change to move forward slightly during the move. Okay, so maybe a bit harder to use. Uh, advantage on hit decrease from plus three to plus two. Thank you. Change the advantage on block from plus two to minus two. That's good. Very good. Grounded hit forces stand. Oh, I mean that's that's good. Sure, whatever. Increase the blowback distance from mid air hit. That's great. Great. So you can't do whirlwind shot into roll, probably as a, a like a frame trap or a, a mix up. Delay the special cancel time. Yes, even better. Reduce the pushback for a grounded hit. That's great. So mild buff, and then bunch of nerfs to it. I'll take it. Crouch Mika expanded the forward hurt box to match his crouching posture. Nice. Crouch heavy punch. Added four frames of recovery on whiff and expanded the hurt box. Thank you, Capcom. Thank you. You know how many times I have to sweep it and I still get punished because it doesn't have any fucking recovery? Yes. Beak Assault. This is his uh, four medium punch. Disadvantage on from increase from minus six to minus seven. Nice. Oh, no, no, sorry. This is his overhead. This is overhead. Change the airborne status. Throw invincible. That makes sense. I've thrown on so many machines. It just makes sense. It should be immune. Whirlwind shot. Increase the pushback distance on hit. Yes. Spinning mixer. Stun decreased. Mixer. Stun decreased. Blowback distance. Reduce the blowback time. Okay, so he gets less OP off of this. Because increase the distance and reduce the blowback time. That's great. Oh, that's good. I don't, I don't like that you can hit it low when he's like airborne, but... Okay, I mean that's Rishi does everything. He doesn't need to have the best overhead in the game, or one of the best. Fix the camera behavior on hit and block. Interesting. If maybe it was too shaky, I can understand. And we'll gain meter on block. Okay, cool. Karen, what did she get? Knockdown, unified, forward throw. Increase the separation distance for a throw in the corner. Nice, nice. Change so that the hurt. So this means no pseudo throw loop in the corner. Change so that the hurt box will not move backwards. That's good. She can't just spam like kick, stand like kick, and then buffer move easily. Uh, increase the pushback distance on block. Yes. Crouch medium kick during changes the motion during recovery and adjusts the hurt box accordingly. Nice. This sounds like a nerf. Jump heavy punch. Expanded the downward hit box. Yeah. Reduce the hurt box that appears after the attack frames. Okay, so better jump in. 
Reduce the hurt box that appears after the attack. Active frames edge. So she got better jump ins because they were pretty bad. They were pretty bad. Yeah, that this sounds huge. This sounds really big. Uh, these two are huge: the throw and the stand medium punch. Uh, Tenko stun decreased from 100 to 80. Ex Tenko 150 120. Reduce pushback on block. Yes. Decreased, decreased. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Did too much stun for a footsy character. Increased. Nice. Consistency. I like this stuff. This is very good. Mild, because Karen was in a good spot. She's still going to be really strong. But she's not going to be as crazy. You can grab Orochi now? That's good. That is perfect. That is what I want. That is what I want. Zengi. Okay. Increased. Wow. Fuck. Oh shit. He has so much stun now. Oh my god, this is, this is just so much. Okay, so then push. Delay the time in which the hurt box disappears during the recovery, made by, by three frames. Made the feature can one cancel timing on block the same amount as the feature two. Nice, that's good. Unification. Send me kick reduce the backwards hurt box at the legs during the active frames. So better as a poke. It's good. Knee hammer. So this is overhead or his forward medium kick. Reduce the backwards hitbox for active frames one to two. Okay. Increase the movement amount. Yeah, that's good. It didn't go far that far. I mean, it shouldn't go like leaps ahead, but you know, a bit more than what it was. Double area. Change the timing which the hurtbox moves backwards from three to five. Yes, because there's so many times when he avoided. He he could do this like a DP. So now he has to be uh, better with it, or else he gets hit in the face, which I think is fair. Muscle explosion, view reversal, change the attack and projectile invincibility will from 1 to 25. Whoa. I guess he got hit on the recovery sometimes, which is interesting. Iron muscle, change the backwards dash cancel to a priority input. Okay, so if you V skill and then backwards dash cancel, then it's the priority takes over the backwards dash. That's interesting. Okay, Laura. Vitality, increase from 1,000 to 25. Okay. Increase the movement speed? You got. I want you guys to understand that when a character gets buffed in terms of walk speed, that is huge. That is huge. It doesn't sound like much, but walk speed allows you to whiff punish, counter poke, set a position for anti-airs. Like, everything is built around walk speed. Everything. Micro walking. Stagger pressure, tick throws, like very good stuff. Very good stuff. Damn. And item just won, so. <laughs> Change that hurt box will not move backwards. I like that. That's good. Move the collision box that appears before the attack active frames backwards to match the visuals. Okay. Made the hurt box for rapid punch cancel the same. Okay. Extended the cancel window by two frames. Okay, so she has a good confirm off crush medium punch. Uh, correct new kick. Increase the cancel window timing by three frames. Increase the advantage of hit from zero plus two. Delay the cancel timing to medium punch full charge for five. So she has a footsie tool. She has an actual low forward into into a move. Amazing. She can confirm this too. Jump heavy punch. Reduce the hurt box. Reduce the hurt box. So she has better jump in the down. I'm sure Snack is happy. I can make crouch medium kick light for a frame trap now. Ooh. That's dirty. Oh, it's because you can delay it, right? There's a timing. That's nice. Dual crash. This is her target combo, right? The second it can now be special cancelled? Oh, man. So you can do medium punch, stand medium kick, and then like bolt charge or like thunderclap. Oh, that's crazy good. That's crazy good. Light bolt charge. Reduce the pushback on hit. I like that. Uh, ease the ability to follow up. Yep. Yeah. Startup decreased. Ooh, cancelable into CA. Nice. That's very nice. Oh no, no, it won't combo, but you can do like a setup possibly. That's still, that's still good. You can force an Oki okay situation. Uh, medium punch full charge. Fix a bug where the fault move would not come out in a certain condition on the ground and hit. 
I have not seen this. Maybe you have. The default move did not come up. Oh, does that change? Like when you do a uh, like a a, re a certain reset, and it doesn't come out. Because it's supposed to be automatic, right? I think it's kind of, okay. Ex bolt charge. Change the cause spinning blowback damage on a midair hit. Restricted the combo count. Fixed the bug where the follow-up move would not come out in certain conditions on a grounded hit. Okay. So consistency. The thunderclap changed so that the properties will change depending on the strength of the button's press. Okay. So then you can you have different versions based on which punch button you press to let it out. Okay. Sunset wheel, this is the command grab. Reduce the recovery by one frame on hit. So we get a walk up normal? As Oki maybe? Increase startup from 5 to 9 frames. Holy shit! Oh, it's 14? Okay, okay. Startup increase from minus from 5 frame to 9 frames. On the light kick version. No, 4 frame added to the move's total frames. So she... Yeah, please explain. For the chat. For the everyone listening. I see. So it's going backwards. And then light kick is even more. So I guess light kick is meant for like... Yeah, that's fair. Okay, okay, cool. That's good. Reducing the damage is nice. I think for people that are afraid of Laura. Double slap. Fix the bug where the hit effects would lose on counter hit. Nice. Visual visual effects are important. Uh, I'm gonna get my glasses real quick. Give me a second here. I just I realize I'm staring at a screen all day. And it's not because I believe in the blue light stuff, but like, it does help my eyes because it dims the brightness a little bit when I wear these glasses. So, you're gonna get Nerd Gecky for the next while. Volting Line. So, this is her V skill. Reduce pushback on hit, increase the blowback distance on midair crush counter. Oh, okay. Uh, increase the blowback time on mid-air crush counter hit. Change so that the first act frame, active frame will hit an opponent who is behind her. Ooh. You can use it as a cross anti-cross up move? Okay. Multi line. This is her new skill dash. Oh yeah, this is not the... Yeah, the linear movement is the move. Okay, okay. More forgiving. Very nice. Change to the first active frame will hit an opponent who is behind her. Ooh. That's interesting. Can now cancel into Sunset Wheel. Oh shit. Damn, so she can like dash and then cancel immediately. That's pretty good. Shock Stance. Change to the lower return to face the opponent behind her when she's performing linear movement of Andre from Sway. Change so that she can still perform the move from Matsuda Sway or linear movement. This I need to see. This I need to see. Oh, I see. Only the backward. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Dawson. Uh, vitality increase from 925, 950. Stand medium punch. Advantage on hit plus 2 to plus 4. EX Yoga Fire. Push back distance on the first hit. Okay. Increase the stagger time for the first hit. Reduce the hitbox for the second hit. Overall movement frames decrease from 44 to 42. Increase advantage from 4 to 5. Wow, okay. That's very good. Yoga float cannot be cancelled. Press medium punch and yoga anvil. Oh shit. That's very good. That's very good. So when he anti airs you, he gets a, a mix up or potential pressure. Yeah, VT2 to cross up grab. That's what it sounded like. I wasn't sure though. But these are very good for Dolphin. Uh, Sunstrike. Can I be canceled from mid air normal move? Ooh. That's good. Oh, yeah, not much for Dolphin. He seems. He's gonna be. I think he's gonna be much better this season. 
Bang. All right, where's Morty when you need them? Vitality increased 950 to 975. Stun 950 to 1,000. Holy shit. Uh, light punch. Change so that the upward hitbox for the Aqua Cranes. Three to five. Will not expand. That's good. Uh, oh, wait. Does that hurt his combo potential? Off of jab, jab, jab. I'm curious. Um, Stemmy and Kick. be special cancel on the second hit. That's very good. That's very good. You know how hard it is to consistently get that normal setup? Okay. Crush me and punch. It expanded the internal hitbox. Maybe it was you could jump on it easily. I don't know. Jump medium punch. Mid air hit change to blowback knockdown. Ooh. You can cancel into. Ah. What is this though? Is this the down forward heavy punch? Oh no 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 no! This is the fly. This is the fly. This is when you turn into a bird and you flap your wings. Oh, so you can jump medium punch and then fly? That's fucking nuts. You can now can you can now special move cancel the first hit. Is this crouch crouch medium kick? Yeah, that sounds like it. Huh. This is the fly. So ease the mid-air combo count for jump. Oh wow, okay. Damn. So Puja, reduce the recovery from 23 22. 24, 23, 19 to 18. I mean not much, but this is pretty big. This is pretty big here. I mean his air to airs are buffed, that's for sure. And anything that makes his fly more dangerous is, is scary, so that's good. Um, Alex. A lot of people are probably excited about this. 10.5, 10 to 10.75. Reduce the startup. Reduce the startup. Change the motion before attack start and adjust the hurtbox accordingly. Okay. Larry, increase the advantage on hit. Ooh, power drop. Reduce the damage from 140 to 120. Stun decreased. Damage decreased. Stun decreased. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, backdrop. Power drop, they call it. When does the German suplex after the elbow or going behind? That's good. I think it was too rewarding, to be honest. Flash shot. Reduce the damage. Increase disadvantage. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Overhaul. Overall frames decrease from 52 to 50. Increase the V-gauge meter gain from 20 to 50. Change to the Alex not lose the effect if he takes that damage. That's great. That's very good. That's very, very good. It makes this V-skill dangerous. That's probably why they reduced this stuff, because he's going to have more use of this. So... Sledgehammer. Okay, use your combo. Way to combo, and then CA change. Okay, cool. Guile. Vitality increase, so now he's 975. Crouch medium kick. Increase the advantage on hit from plus one to plus two. Full bullet magnum. This is the punch target combo. Like into the spin knuckle at the end. Minus seven. Uh, Drake Fang. Minus seven. Oh, this is the overhead. The tar overhead target combo. Yeah, nice. So they're punishable. That's good. Okay, we're still good for music. Yeah, we got plenty to go. Nice. Somersault kick. Will not trigger if light punch is the input. Okay, so this is the combo thing. This is the combo thing. Somersault kick expanded the fourth hitbox for active frames 4 to 5. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he can V skill out of it? Damn. That's scary. Okay, Sonic Boom will not trigger. Expanded the upwards hitbox. Pretty simple for Gao, but I think he was already in a good spot anyway, so I think he's gonna go up in the tiers because he's already a solid character and he got a buff. He got some buffs with some minor nerfs, so that's good. That's very good. Ibuki, how did she get nerfed? She was probably she might come out the best next to Rashid. She might. She might. Five frame recovery after successful forward throw. Back throw, not the forward throw. Mmm. Mmm. I really wanted her forward throw to have like nerf recovery. Cause in the corner she gets a pseudo throw loop. How do you see Karen's and not see hers? That's unfortunate. Added five frames of recovery after a successful throw. I mean that makes sense so she doesn't get Oki off of it, but Okay, we can talk to Russell about this. 
Uh, jumping heart gate. Reduce the hurt box for the third active frame. Okay. Shinten. Increase the recovery. What is this? The back medium punch? Increase the disadvantage on hit from 0 to minus 4. Increase the disadvantage on block from minus 5 to minus 9. I don't know what this is. I thought this was the back medium punch, but... Ah, target combo. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good, so you have to c cancel it. So it's actually punishable. That's really good. Because she gets such a fucking good reward from it, so that makes sense. That's nice. That's a nice, nice nerf. EX Kunai. Reduce the Kunai's advantage on hit by 4 frames. Reduce the advantage on block by 4 frames. That's really nice. Really nice. Probably can't dash anymore. Kunai grounded. Change to the special move cancel priority with take effect. Yes, nice. That's good. Change to the cannot perform the special move cancel when she has one only one kunai. Oh, okay. That's good. D skill. Expanded the forward hurt box from wings two to four. Nice. I like that. Uh V-Trigger 1. Easy to commit air combo count. Nice. Good juggle. V-Trigger 1 never gets used. It will be fun. Puma Shuriken. Unified the hit count to be the same regardless of timing when the move hits. Increase the disadvantage on block for the first time. First hit from minus two to minus four. So when she throws it out, you can literally punish her now. You don't have to just hold the mix up. That's cool. So you can immediately throw if you wanted to, but if you throw, she can jump. So I like that change because they didn't make it minus five, so you could throw punish it. But you can throw if you condition her to st sit still. So you can technically tick throw. You can technically tick throw. Uh, opponent will gain 50 X meter on block. Change the counter behavior. Cool. Pretty consistent to me. I like this. Small, small tweak, but still strong. Yeah, Bini. You like it, Boopy. Balrog. Vitality 0.5. 50. 4 dash. Okay. Expanded the forward hitbox. Ooh. Their impact can cancel a second hit into B3. Stomping combo. This is the target combo, right? The light kick, medium kick, heavy kick? Oh, B3 is his. Oh, shit. That's scary. That's fucking scary. Dash straight. Also, reduce the command charge time. That's very good. Oh, man. Bruce is going to have way more down the medium punch and dash straight. EX death rate. can cancel into no mercy V trigger 2 activation. Fuck. Change to give the V trigger 1 exclusive moves input priority on block. Fuck. <laughs> Sounds great, but fuck. Uh, dash grand blow. All strengths. This is the uh, low? Yeah, I think this is the low, no? Reduce the command charge time. Yeah, this is definitely the low. Oof. Good. This is very good. This is very good. Oh, we might see more use for, uh... Yeah, screw smash is the DP. Yep. Uh, we might see more use of DP too now. Especially we can have this and then hat cancel into this as well. Buffalo pressure. Disadvantage on block increase from minus 6 to minus 7. Buffalo pressure is what? The... It's the V-trigger thing? Oh, huh, I'm very curious. What is his V-Skill 2? I don't even know. Ah, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, V-Trigger 2. Increase the throw distance. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Reduce the recovery after hit by 4 frames. So you get Oki and better distance on the command grab. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, Vitality. 950 to 975. Straight taking th three times on whiff and block basically. Oh damn, that's good. Thousand nine seventy five disadvantage on block minus seven. This is the overhead. Yep. Increase the active frame airborne invincibility. This is the Kuma's theme. That's why. That's why it's free. That's pretty good. This is her DPs. 
expanded the forward hitbox. So more consistency. Does not have charge. Expanded the forward hitbox when performed as a cancel from a standing or crouching jab. Okay. Cancel other strengths change to give input timing and command priority. Okay, okay, so it takes priority over the normals. We just push back on hit. Better Oki maybe? Not sure. EX to stagger damage. The second it can now be canceled on the V-Trigger. Ooh, that's good. Reversal, pretty much the same. Increase the block stop though. Timer wins out while performing between combo drew with performing normal two or run attack through phasing stock if she has it. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Uh, beta 2. Increase the active frames for the first hit at the legs from 2 to 5. Expanded the range at which she can absorb EX meter. Okay. Okay. Change so that the activation attack will not consume the timer. Has been changed so that the V-Timer will begin to decrease immediately after activation, but there are no changes to the amount of EXP you can use. Okay, so maybe this is better. Maybe this is better. I don't know. This sounds better, but I'm not sure what you get at 5. This is probably much better. And then PA change here in Yurian. 25. 50. Knockdown. Okay. Damn Fan the backwards hurt box recovery during recovery. Easy ability to follow up after attacks reduce the push back on block and hit. Nice. Heavy one charge. Expanded. Easy ability to follow up. Nice. Coral kick. Increase the pushback distance on block. Reduce the hurt box extra foot. Easier to whip punish. That's what this is. Or no, sorry. No, it's not. This is a better poke. Never mind. Reduce the hurt box. Uh, increase metallic sphere. Increase advantage on block. Damn, that's very good. Now I can stop three frame characters. That's very good. Metallic Sphere, overall movement phase decrease from 50. Two frames, not much. This is armor. Armor, arm when he armors up. His under effect will add to the team so that especially when performed while Metallic Aura is under effect, will add to the EX meter. Ooh, that's cool. Each reference is phenomenon where the deactivation mirror will disappear after, even after reflecting a projectile three times. Okay, cool. <laughs> and Tyrant Blaze damage increase from 120 or to 120. 120, 140. Oh shit. Fourth attack, minus two to minus plus four. This is instantly better now. Instantly better. Akuma. Four throw. Four. Thank you! Capcom. Three frames of recovery. Holy shit. You can't dash forward in the corner now. Simeon kick. Expanded the backwards hurtbox during recovery. Thank god. Expanded the forward hurtbox at the feet during recovery. Thank god. Crouch meme puns. Increase the pushback distance on block. Yes! Ease the combo count. What is this? Is this the forward medium punch? Forward heavy punch? Reduce the pushback and block. Added a projectile invincible hurt box under the hurt box that appears in 8 to 28. Huh. Okay. Is it the dive kick? I don't even know what this is. I'm not sure. It sounds like the forward medium punch. Or forward uh, heavy punch. Uh, this is the overhead. I can tell that. Universal. Sekia Go Koshoha. The fireball? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You guys are gonna have to tell me. Go Shuriken, Tatsumaki. Okay, so this is the demon flip. No? Change so that you can, the amount of EXP you're given to the opponent on hit and block the same other character. Okay. Yo, move quick, what's going on? It is it is red fireball, right? That's what I thought. Okay. That's good. That's good. Move quick, Vega is looking pretty damn good. Uh, I don't know how good, but definitely better than he was before. I'm very happy. I got new stuff to play with, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Ooh. Reduce the hitbox, expanded the hurtbox. What's this one? Demon foot? Is this demon foot? Not sure. I know I've been waiting four damn years. I'm waiting four damn years. <laughs> Heavy kick. EX. 
fix the bug where you're not turned to face the opponent in certain conditions. Okay, V scale can now cancel V trigger to exclusive decimal. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I did go over Fang. He didn't get much. He can juggle into. Uh, so when he does jump medium punch, he can cancel that into fly. So he can get fly air combos now. Sounds crazy. V reversal chain. Chain so that cannot be activated from canceling Go Hadoken and Seikiya Go Shoha. Yes, I saw a video on this. You can't cancel. So no more red fireball into V trigger with activation. That's great. That's great. Colleen. Knockdown unified. Or death. Air throw can be formed with offset inputs. Oh, it does not have to be precise. That's cool. Expanded backwards hurt box during recovery. Thank you. Sniping kick. Expanded the backwards hurt box during recovery. Okay. Blizzard heal. Disadvantage on block increased from minus three to minus seven. This is the overhead. Reduce pushback on block for the first hit. Yes. Forward hurt box. Yes. Nice. Yeah, Silver Edge can now cancel into Diamond Dust. Woo! This is our V Trigger 1. Where'd you go? Oh, I don't know where you went. He exhales from the first hit has been given attack hitbox. Oh shit. Reduce the downward hurtbox for the first hit until the end of the active frames. Increase the blowback time when the first hit connects on an airborne opponent. Stun decrease for the projectile when the first hit connects on the opponent. Airborne opponent from 100 to 50. So better Oki, less damage, and you have a hitbox. That's good. Very good for her. And then we step. Change so that the inside slash V skill and frost edge can be performed with offset inputs. Okay, make it easier then. Heavy kick vanity step. So avalanche lock air throw can be performed with offset. Okay. So make, making her consistency with the, the stuff. Diamond dust. Reduce the start from 19 to 17. Wow. Probably gives her a lot of opportunity now. Calling buff. Calling buff. Barely touched. Her V trigger 2 has not changed at all. That's scary. That's very scary. She's probably going to be one of the best characters in, in this patch. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think I agree with you, Apollo Green. I think I agree with you. Okay, Ed. People should be excited for Ed. And it's a command grab, right? It's a grab. No? It's a moving command grab. I'm excited. Vitality. Increase from 1,000 to 825, 1050. Increase the movement speed. Shit. Standing heavy punch. Reduce the hurt box during the active frames and at the end of the bomb for a key frame window after the end. Okay, okay. That's good. That's very good. Reduce the pushback on hit. Damn, she can poke with this and like mix people up. Increase the pushback distance on him when rapidly camping. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Crouch medium kick. Reduce the startup. Wow, nice. Seven frames. Much better. Increase the hit stop and the camera shake if the first active frame hits. Okay, so prevent camera issues. Cycle flicker, reduce the disadvantage on block from minus three, minus two, so it's safe. Increase the hit stop for the final hit. Second hit can now be cancelled into Enhanced Snatcher. Shit. Expanded the hitbox for the second and third hit if the first hit connects. That's great. Consistency. Increase the forward movement distance. Amazing. Change the input command priority to adjust the phenomenon where you Ed would perform cycle off instead of flicker. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Reduce the AX meter gain on whiff. That makes sense. Reduce the backwards hitbox with the third hit on left. Reduce the chip damage from 20 to 12. That's fucking amazing. 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 That's good. Expanded the horizontal hitbox. Nice. Restricted the combo count. Okay. Psycho over. Increase the screen shake on hit. Damage increased. Earn the ability to follow up. Oh, ease, ease the ability to follow up. Okay, so when he does use it as a follow up, it's consistent. Change the timing. Okay. The X Psycho Upper, increase the screen shake. Yeah, it doesn't look like it hits that hard. It should be more. Uh, increase the value. Spam. Psycho Snatcher, enhance the ability for follow up attacks. Or ease the ability, okay. Turns to face the opponent. Upwards collision. Startup decreased. Ease the combo count. Oh shit, this is really, really good. Really, really good. 
Increase the advantage on block. Plus three. Plus six. Okay. That's very good. Ultra Snatcher. Change the edge would turn to face. Use your goal hits until the end when the performance is CA canceled. That's good. That's good. Yeah, what is this B skill too? I never saw it. Damn, that's scary. Okay. Abigail. 1100. 1050. Easy ability for follow up attacks. Okay. This music is kind of fitting though, huh? <laughs> Abigail Punch. Disadvantage on block decrease for the light version from minus 16 to minus 12. Okay. Increase the float time. So less Oki. Well, he already got less Oki, but even less. That's pretty cool. Float time, forward hitbox, change the float. Okay, nitro charge, reduce the damage. Stun decrease, five from recovery, reduce the recovery. Change so that can hit airborne opponents, that's nice. Expanded, that's cool, that's very cool. Ontario drop. Okay, that's pretty universal. Increase the float on the grounded hit, that's heavy punch. Ooh, makes it easier to combo then. EX nitro charge. Damage increase, stun decrease. Yeah, this is the same one as before. Okay. Metro Crash. Reduce the damage from level 2 to 200 to 170. Reduce the charge time to reach level 2 by 1 frame. Ooh, that's good. Abigail CA. Nice. So he barely got touched. Mild nerf, from what it looks like, but I think because he was already strong, so he didn't really need anything else. That's interesting. He's gonna be better in this patch for sure. Because he's a neutral mo he can be played like a neutral monster. Not Universal. Can now cancel the V-trigger and specific moves for the final frame. Wow, okay. Combo Queen, maybe? Disadvantage on hit reduced from minus three. Okay. Uh 3 to minus 2, Soul Sphere can now be cancel the judgment of block. Ooh, fuck. Damn, okay. Can now cancel into judgment, can now cancel into judgment. Ease the follow up. Okay, so she's got more potential then with uh, her V triggers and comboing. I wonder what she gets here. Increase the timer of V trigger 1. Damn, that's nice. Okay, I'm getting to Zeku, so now uh, I'll do my Master Splinter voice. I'll see if I can do it. Let me get some water. <clears throat> Zeku, old crouching medium kick can now be cancelled into a special move. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Sorry, 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 sorry. I had to break character. He can cancel into a special move from Crouch Medium Kick? That is humongous! Humongous! Holy shit! No one talked about this? No one talked about this? Old Zeku gets low forward cancel? <laughs> Does it combo into anything? Like Koku? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, let's try that again. Whew! No time worry. Disadvantage on block increase from minus 6 to minus 7. <laughs> it combos into light gram. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Koku. Yeah, the grounded kick. That's so good. That's so good. Increase the attack and projectile invincibility window from 1 to 16 frame to 1 frame to 25 frame. <laughs> I can't do Shredder. Shredder's like, uh, I can't even do much Shredder. Fuck. Uh, isn't Shredder more like raspy? I think. You know, it might be the same voice actor. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me let me try to do Shredder. 
changed so that the landing recovery can be cancelled into an EX special move on hit. Stun decrease for the special move version from 150 to 100. Expanded the upwards collision box for the EX Fushin Gram. Bond performed from Kauril Kanzan. Adjusted the combo count on hit. <laughs> yeah, 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 but I'm talking about the, the, the live action movie. <laughs> can I talk like Sub Zero? I don't know if I can. I mean, Sub Zero, yeah, Sub Zero is similar, right? Yeah, old Basan Gaza. Okay, change the amount. Okay. Young. Unified is collision. <laughs> okay, now we're in young, so I can't do an old man anymore. Unified is collision box height when knocked down to be the same as other characters. Yes. Deleted unnecessary throw hurt box at the back. Let the cold flow through you. I think he talks like that. Is it more like that? Made the, made the hurt box for the rapid cancel version the same as the normal version. Reduced the active frames from 4 frames to 3 frames. Reduced in recovery increase from 7 frame to 10 frame. Changed the advantage on block from plus 3 to minus 2. Chain delayed the Hosanto cancel timing by 1 frame. Increased the pushback distance on block. Stan young standing heavy punch expanded the backwards hurt box during recovery I think I sound like someone else now I sound like someone else now <laughs> should I just read <laughs> read the rest of the patch notes with voices give me voices I'll try to attempt it <laughs> increase the disadvantage on block from minus 8 to minus 12 reduce the pushback on block oh that's really good actually oh shit but this is bad, but that's good. Expanded the backwards hurt box during recovery. Is that Stallone? I think that's Stallone. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Overhead, minus seven. Bushin, move the hitbox backwards and upward direction. Oh, okay. Zeki will take counter damage if he is hit during the part of the move where it's possible to perform an attack. Ah, okay. Okay. Toshio. Doing voices is fun. You guys should try it. It's very fun. It feels it feels like you're putting on a show. Change so that the landing recovery can be canceled in the EX special move on hit. St Wait a minute. You trigger two. Change so that the landing recovery can be canceled in the EX special move on hit. That's so good. That's so good. Do Dudley? Uh, he's just basically an English guy. You know what I mean? Let me try it. <clears throat> Stun decreased from special move version from 150 to 100. That's that's probably as good as I'm gonna get. He, yeah, he's a little nasally. Adjusted the combo count on hit. <laughs> it's hard to do a voice and make it British. I find. I have like one British voice. This is, you want to hear my British voice? This is it. Here, I'll do it for the CA. Change the amount of EX meter gain on the opponent gets on block from 0 to 50. Restricted the combo count after the first hit. That's all That's all I got. <laughs> Sakura. Sakura! 975. Oh yeah, line from... He just does a lot of like... Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! 950 to a thousand stemming kick. What, Beanie? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, fine. Running from me all the time. Okay, Sakura, reduced recovery on hit and block 19 frames to 17 frames. Ooh, that's good. Startup reduced. Chin Buster, reduced recovery. Increase the advantage. Show can decrease the blowback distance. Increase the active frames by 10. Wow, that's good. That's very good. That's a lot of active frames. EX Shimpu Capture. Reduce the startup. Fix the bug. Hakoshi. Recovery. Span it. That's good. These are all good stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Jackie. Never mind. Yeah! Yeah! They do sound. They do sound a bit similar. A little bit. Just, your lion's a bit more of a punk. Punk kid. 
I want a new Virtual Fighter so bad too. I want Kagemaru back. The skill reduced two frames in recovery. Okay. So Sakura is looking really good. Hadoken increase ease the combo count. Damn, that's good. Very, 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 very good. Increase the active frames by five frames, meaning the hitbox the same as the X Pico Hadoken. Ease the combo count, increase the blowback. So less no Oki. Ah, maybe to match. So you get better Oki, but not not mid-screen. That's what it seems like. That's what these look like to me. Increase the active frames by 5 frames. Decrease the blowback distance on mid-air hit. Ooh, okay. And Sucker Rain. Yeah, Sakura got like mild mild buffs, but they're all quality of, they look like quality of life stuff. It's good. Blanca! Unified his collision. 50, 25. Overall movement phrase decreased. That's good. It was a little too much, I thought. Rock Crusher, this is his overhead. Increase the movement speed. Disadvantage on block decreased. Decreased? Oh god. Okay, vertical rolling. Increase the hitbox when using the combo that Blanca hit for the two are behind him. Okay, okay. A little more consistent now. That's good. Like when doing V-trigger combos and whatnot. That's very that's very fortunate. Ray jump. Reduce the jump height. Reduce the upward collision box. That's good. Quick step rolling, reduce, increase the startup recovery. That's good. It was pretty quick. Rolling attack, increase the movement speed, change the bounce back behavior on block, disadvantage on block decrease from. Wow, holy crap. Meter one will be much more useful. Back step rolling. Use the ability to follow up. Electric thunder, attack startup decreased. Ooh, that's good. And that's it. That's it for Blanca. Okay. Mild buffs, some nerfs to his like scrubbier stuff, quote unquote. Falk, Vitality, Stun, Shaiko Uh Add a new unique move. Oh, she has a new move. Oh, so target combo into V scale. That's cool. That's very cool. See you in her press. Have a good night, man. You have a great night. See you in the universe. Increase the advantage on hit from plus 4 to plus 5. Wow. Reduce the pushback on block. Fuck. That's good. Uh, crouch medium punch. Oh, crouch medium kick. Can be now cancelled in the CA. Yes! That's great! Reduce the pushback on hit. Nice! Jumping medium- or heavy kick. Mid-air change to blowback knockdown. Ooh, that's cool. Can be cancelled in the site. That's great. That's great. Change the bounce back behavior on hit and block. Okay, Shinaida. Increase the active frames, first hit plus three, expand the upwards hurt buff. This is her gunshot, I think. No, 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 sorry, her kugel is this. I don't know what this is. Huh. Reduce the move charge time from 60 to 50. Damn! So you can shoot these so much faster. That's crazy. Okay, Psycho Kugel, reduce the move charge time 50, 60 to 50. The staff's hurt box to be projectile invincible. Aha! So you see, now she's playing the counterpoke game with her staff. It counts as a fireball, or it's it's counts as it's immune to projectiles. So you have to hit her physical body with a projectile. You can still whiff punish her, which is good, but now it's immune to projectiles. So that'll help her against like Guile and other fireball characters. On counter hit change so that the second hit onward will also be treated as counter hit. That's cool. That's very cool. Increase the blowback time if... Oh, okay. That's interesting. So you can better juggle or Oki maybe? Nice. Can be canceled into the CA. That's good. That's very good. Change the stats hurt box to be projectile invincible. That's very good as well. Makes sense to match the... Uh... Um... Hulk looks good so far. V skill 2? Or V skill V trigger 2. Reduce the V timer usage from 1000 to 0. Change so that it will use 1000 of V timer upon the special move cancel timing of the hit. Huh? So it immediately gets used up? So it's only a 1 use V trigger? That's what it looks like to me. Increase the movement when the forward when forward is input. Huh. I'm 
if I understand this. This sounds like they've changed it to a one-time use V trigger instead of uh, install. It's curious. Okay, Monsieur Cody. A thousand, twenty-five, ten fifty. Demi kit reduced, reduced. Will now trigger a crush counter. Okay. Crouch heavy kick reduced the recovery. Wow. Holy shit. These are great already. Reduce the hurt box near the feet. Axle knuckle. Increase the advantage on hit from 0 to 1. Wow. Mean rough game kick. Disadvantage on block decreased. Less punishable. Increase the active frames. Recrease the. the bleh, recre recrease the recovery. Recovery decreased. <laughs> Increase the blowback time, reduce the blowback distance. So you get good Oki off this now. Disadvantage on block decreased. Wow. Changes that Zonka level 2 will be performed if a punch button is held for over 300 frames, then released. What the fuck? That's really good. That's really good. Double kick, V skill. Reduced recover. Recovery's reduced. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of recovery reduction. Is it like turn punch? <laughs> Yeah, baby, I know. Uh, standing light punch. Increase the advantage on hit and plus five. This is still Cody. Oh my god. Plus five, plus six. Startup decreased. Advantage on hit decreased. Advantage on hit decreased. So he's getting he's getting faster, but less advantage. But I think that's too massive. Keep it in line. Exonk wall bounces. Wow. Startup decrease. That's a lot. Two frames faster is humongous on normals. Even one frame faster is much better for normals. That's crazy. Reduce the hurt box. Change to the active frame. Now special cancel. Wow. Expanded the hitbox. Expand the hitbox. Expanded the hurt box to the third active frame. Okay. Rapid fire. Damn. Change to that. You can whip cancel from tornado sweep. That's cool. So he can throw a tornado and then cock up another knife. That's so sick. Level 2 EX Zonk is plus 5 on block? Holy shit. That's scary. Okay, G. Knockdown. Unified his collision box height when knocked down to be the same as that of other characters. Stun. Increase. Excuse me. From 1000 to 1050. Increase the advantage on hit from plus. 3 to plus 4. Disadvantage on block decrease from 0 to minus 2. <gasps> increase the pushback distance. Increase the pushback distance. Okay. Oh, really? That's cool. So you get rewarded for entiring with it instead of just doing it neutral. That's good. Crouch heavy punch. Crouch heavy punch. <laughs> Maybe that's a typo and they did reduce the hurt hitbox behind his head. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't tested it, obviously. Changes the cancel timing for G-Burst and the message to the people only applies to level 3 and EXG Burst. Increase the pushback to stone block for the second hit. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I knew you were talking about Cody. Yeah. That's good. That's very good. G-Smash. Change the cancel timing for G-Explosion to make it a bit easier, maybe. Because people did uh, mess up the inputs on this, so... Expanding the upward collision box during the move. Okay. So better. Reduce the damage, increase the recovery on hit, reduce the distance from... Oh, so better Oki. This is for Oki then. Following the change of meaning to V-Trigger Consumption, activation 1500 to 1200. Successful throw, 1500 to 300. So literally, with V-Trigger 2, you can command grab, like armored command grab, more often. Like, how many more times? 300, 600, 900, 12. You could do four. Four of them. That's so good. That's so good. This one, you can do two of this or two grabs. That's very good. That's what it reads like, anyway. Okay. Yo, Deancer, how you doing, man? I'm just going through the notes right now. Fang looks, Fang looks like he didn't change much, but I saw he had a parry into an attack. And juggles into fly look really cheap. <laughs> Seems fun. But I think with everyone, if with a lot of characters coming down, I think he's gonna be in a good spot. I don't know, maybe you have a different opinion, but it seems, that's what it seems like with this whole patch so far. So we can't lose presidential level. Bam. 
Okay. That's kind of cool, like a nod to G or Q. Okay, so got 1025, 1050. I like this health buff overall. I think it's good. Yeah, especially when stuff gets, uh, you know, reduced or increased hitbox, hurt boxes. So you can whiff punish easier with Fang. I think he's going to be rewarded a lot more. Although I think he will have some hard matchups that he didn't have before. Like, I think Cody might give him trouble now. And I think maybe uh, Falk might give him trouble now. I don't know if it was before, but it just seems like it. Uh, standing Heavy Punch. Recovery on whip decreased. Damn. Okay. That's, that's a big deal. Expand the forward hitbox. That's really good. Advantage on hit. That's very good. Active frames increased. Recovery reduced. Extend the V-Trigger activation. Cancel window by one frame. That's very good. So this makes it easier to combo confirm into. And you're not just doing it for the sake of doing it. You play it slow? Okay. Yeah, that make, makes sense, because you both kind of slow the match down, right? Yeah, because you can't really, can't reflect it or anything, right? Crouching hard kick, reduce the recovery, no changes to disadvantage. Okay, Tiger elbow, overhead. Tiger crush, expand the upwards hitbox for 60, oh, okay. Overall movement frames decrease from 55 to 50. That's good, this is much faster now, more practical. To build EX meter, that's good, that's good. Tiger Cannon, increase the blowback time on hit, decrease the blowback distance, so better Oki. And more time to confirm what's happening. Advantage on block, plus 10? Holy shit. Imagine that you block this up close. Sagat can do whatever he wants. Reduce the startup from 19 to 17, holy shit. Increase the V timer effect time to 3000? Consumption? To 1500 oh, okay so to make it like universal it's still half but still that's really good and then universal change Sam Sagat looked pretty good mild mild changes because I think he'd be really strong in this patch with birdie coming down and uh, certain other characters Kage Kage the home of the room of the living room uh 925 oh did I finish it damn I did let's go back to the top Okay, change the hurt box for the rapid cancel version. Yep. Crouching light punch. Increase the advantage on hit. Plus two, plus three. Good. Reduce the pushback, reduce the pushback. That's very good. That's very good. Consistency, that's what just helps. Yeah, frame trap, that's crazy good. Crouching medium kick. Increase the cancel time. That's good. Reduce the hurt box, that's also good. Change to force stand on ground and hit. What is this? I'm not sure. Increase the blowback. Oh, this might be the target combo. Like, this might be the target combo. Blowback time on grounded hit. That's very cool. If this is the target combo, this is very good. This is very good. EX Hadouken. Reduce the startup. Change the advantage to plus two. That's very good. Change the hip hurtbox at the arms to be protect on this. That's good as well. Reduce the hurtbox at the arms. Yep. Reduce the hitbox for the second after frame. Use the recovery by four frames. That's very good now. That's very good. It's a pressure tool now, as it should be. Airborne Hadoken. 90. Increase the blowback time for mid-air hit. Ah, so you can confirm better or get juggles more consistently. That's good. Increase the blowback distance. Decrease the blowback distance on hit. Reduce the blowback time on hit. Decrease the recovery by one frame. De disadvantage on block decreased. Minus 11, minus 10. Is this Tatsu? Is this his Tatsu? Yeah, I think this is Tatsu. Looks like it. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, Kage... He's looking good. He's looking pretty good. If you play Kage, this is a good season for you. Expand the forward hitbox. Use the combo count. Increase the blowback time. Decrease the blowback... So this is one of the best, if you guys are reading changes ever from Capcom, this is one of the best changes you can get. Where it says increase the blowback time and decrease the blowback distance. You know what that means? That means you get Oki and Oki. So when you combine these two, you get great Oki. So that means they're in the air for longer, like they're in a, the, blow, the impact state is longer, like when they're taking the hits. And when they blow back, like when they 
recover from the impact and they're in like a fall state the distance that they travel is less. So this is very, very good for his Oki, which a lot of people complained about for Kage, that he didn't have Oki off anything. Uh, increase the blowback time and decrease the blowback distance for the third hit. That's good. Very good. So when he goes into DP, he gets Oki now, maybe. Oh, so Kaku, this looks like his uh, axe kick. Lower the backward surface for the start of the boost uh, foot before the attack startup. This is no effect. Use the hurt box at the foot. So it makes it easier to catch people, I think. Is it reduced the hurt box and lowered the backwards hurt box. So easier to whip punish, but if you're trying to counter poke with it, it's better. That's what it sounds like to me. Maybe I might be wrong. Catch your charge. This looks like his V skill, maybe? Can cancel into forward dash on hit or block. Ooh, that's very good. Increase the blowback time and again, he gets Oki. So see, most of his stuff is like Oki, 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 Oki. And then pressure, 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 pressure. So he gets pressure and Oki. That's what it seems like. Airborne. Oh, this is teleport. You cannot cancel in forward, backward. You can only cancel one. So you can do another one. The second one can be formed with offset input during the move. Oh my god. So you can do like two air teleports at the, in one jump. That's crazy good. And the same thing, I think. Change the command reverse jumps. Oh, so your commands won't be reversed if you go over the opponent. That's good. Like, it'll mess up the opponent, but not you, which is good. That's very cool. Metsu Shoryuken, universal change. Poison. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. And you can try Vega for a bit. Vitali, 950, 975. 950, 975. Expand the upwards. Can I hit opponents who are behind? Nice. Reduce the startup. Reduce the startup. Damn. Advantage on hit, reduce. Okay. Avant line, expand the forward hitbox. Avant line, expand the forward hitbox for all hits except the final one. Okay, that's the the whip, the multiple whips. Change the motion on block. Recovery on block decreased to minus two. Holy shit! Holy shit! Cause that was so punishable. Now it's gonna be safe. Love me tender. That's gonna. That's the uh, heel kick. Uh, reduce the hurt box at the foot before the attack startup. Oh, so you can anti with it easier now. EX, change the attack property to hit mid. So you can't crouch now. You can't duck it. Disadvantage on block decreased from minus four to minus, or minus two to minus four. Okay, so it's a bit, so it's punishable now. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Love me tender is the wheel kick. So now EX doesn't hit overhead. That's what it is. It's the flip kick that goes over fireballs. So it doesn't hit overhead anymore. And now it's punishable on block. That's very good. So now you have to use it smartly. You're not safe. Uh, CA, decrease the startup to 10. That's very good. That's very good. She can not probably link off certain specials now, or certain normals now. That's very good. Good stuff for, for poison. Honda. Vitality, stun, increase the forward movement distance. Oh, I need more water for this. Increase the pushback distance on hit. Okay. Well, this is his target combo, I think. Headbutt. Damage at the move base increased by 20. Increased. Damage increase. Damage increase. Damage increase. Damage increase. Holy shit. Reduce the pushback for the medium version. Increase the forward movement distance for the light version. Re increase the hitbox and on block and on hit and block for the light and medium versions. Okay. So what this tells me then is that when you hit, when you block with the medium version, medium version I think is the, the plus one, right? The one that's plus two. Both of them have bigger hitboxes, so they will hit more consistently. And then the movement distance of the light version, or I think the light version is plus two, and then this one's minus two. One of the one of them is plus, and one of them is minus. I can't remember which is which, but Honda's very buffed with these freaking headbutts. That's crazy. EX Sumer Snatch. Reduce the pushback on block for the outer side. Nice. Easier to punish or check or throw, maybe. Uh, feature consumption decrease from 1200 to 1000. Okay. So you can get probably another one afterwards. That's good. Lucia. Last character. Knockdown. Unified. 975, 975. Okay. 
EX Cyclone Spinner, expanded the upwards collision box. EX Flipper Shot, this is a fireball. Reduce the size of the backwards block that clears your opponent's block after the bound. Okay. Hammer Knuckle. Use the blowback this one. So that's she gets a better view reversal. Gets you off of her. Tap Kick, reduce the blowback for the final hit. Expanded the upwards collision box during the final hit. EX Cyclone Spinner. Increase the V-Trigger consumption. Oh wow, that's a lot. 300 points. Flipper Shot All Strength. Reduce the size of the backwards hitbox. Okay, so not much. Less V-Trigger consumption. Seems like. And a better V-Reversal. And the Tap Kick gets less blowback. So probably better Oki as well. Huh. And those are the patch notes, guys. We did it. That's interesting. Let's play Street Fighter now.